So a day in the life for me usually starts about 9.15, kind of rolling out of bed, um, trying to be quiet because John and John are usually still sleeping. Go up to the front lounge, my kids are doing school, so we talk for a little while, have a coffee, and uh, I read my Bible. I will start my day usually after all this with a bus stock list, looking through all the food that we have, all the food that we don't have, making sure everybody's happy. I usually get to talk to my lady. Good morning. Good morning. We talk in the mornings just for like two minutes. <laughs> and then it's time to work. Corey's working on music. For who? Are you allowed to say who it's for? I don't know. Am I? I don't know. It's a surprise. You're going to love it. Oh! <laughs> then I try to get ready quietly so I don't wake up uh, people that are still sleeping. And uh, that can be a difficult task because most of my stuff is back where everybody's sleeping. So I try to get ready real fast and make my way inside to get some work done before everybody else gets in here. And when I was dead, you gave me new life. I'm lifting you up with all of my might. I don't care who's to the left or the right, you're on that's on my mind. Don't really care what they say, what they think I feel so alive. Yep, so this is what most of my day looks like. I finally made it inside. It's about 11. Most of my other work is done, and so now here I am focusing on some music stuff for the day. Ooh. Corey Cooper is the Skillet secret weapon. For every Skillet song that there is, she's been putting in probably weeks and hours and hours and hours of work into every single song. She's up every single day working on something. Before I'm even awake, she's got a good four hours of production and writing parts and um, making the song the best it can possibly be. I mean, if you hear her play the keys or the guitar, it's gonna have such an emotion to it. And, and I do believe that that is the secret to the skillet sound is John and Corey together. It's just an exceptional emotional journey. And I think that's what the skillet fans really love. What are you working on? What? <laughs> How's it going? I'm adding the rock to the pop. So. Yeah, yeah. This is what we call well renowned producer. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call. Corey's producing. She's and biased. it's ridiculous. She's and biased. She's my dream this team one is killing Seth it. Seth Mosley producing, and I'm just adding a little bit of touches. The two of you. The they're a freaking duo, man. They're producing some amazing music, and I'm excited. <laughs> Good job, Cora. Thanks, Jen. Keep killing it. Thanks, Jen. You even gave me a hair flip there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Give a little hair. What are you trying to impress, honey? Apparently, I'm right here. Just myself. Trying to get a very lush sounding sound in chord. Becoming a tartar. Okay, so just finished my work for the day. And I am back and I am now making some chicken because, well, we like to have healthy-ish food. So we got a little bit of salsa chicken going now and i um, gonna hang out with the kids. <laughs> okay, I'm done, Jen. Do you 10, Claude? Smack that out on the paws, smack that, give me some more, Ow! Exactly. Pretty weird, pretty weird. I don't even know if I can go on a podcast. <laughs> the bun's so steel, I hit my hand. Bun's of steel. It's all that T25. Come on. It is. It's a squat. 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 <laughs> You're never going to meet someone more generous, more humble. She's a woman that notices the people around her and calls out greatness. She has faith for things when other people don't, and she's able to spur the rest of us on and just remind us why we're doing what we're doing. 10.15, time to hit the stage. Big fat swag. Adorable. Look, it's really cool. I need a cigar for this one. Let me go get my truck. I'll show you. It's so dumb. It's time for us to get ready for the show.